butterflies. This week is your chance to learn more about them. It's the Butterfly Blitz over in Coles County. Paul Switzer with the Urban Butterfly Initiative joins me now. Paul, good morning. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Did Thanks, you Bella. fly over? Where are your wings? <laughs> yes. Okay, good. I'm glad. So this is a really cool opportunity. First of all, let's learn a little bit about you. How did you get involved with butterflies in the first place? Okay, so I'm the director of Urban Butterfly Initiative, and I've loved bugs ever since I was a little kid. Okay. Um, and the Urban Butterfly Initiative, the idea of that is to create butterfly habitat in cities and so we try to help cities create butterfly habitat charleston is now the butterfly capital of illinois which Crazy. is pretty cool it is really cool and so this this thing we have going on now the butterfly blitz is is part of that right so let's talk about the blitz this started a couple days ago and mm -hmm. goes through the fourth so what exactly is it so it's a citizen science initiative it's a what we're asking people to do is help us collect data on butterflies hmm. and it's really easy all they have to do is take pictures of okay. a butterfly. Use their phone? Use their phone. Goodness, you, do you think they could do that? Yeah, I don't you can know. use a phone, you can use a camera and computer. Sure. And that's a nice thing about butterflies and why they make such a good ambassador, I think, to nature is because you can get really close to them and, and take pictures and learn what they are. And so people just take pictures. And there's an app called um, iNaturalist. Okay. And it's iNaturalist.org. Okay. And you can sign up for a free account, take the picture, submit it, and we can see what you're seeing. It gets, sure. You don't have to even know what it is. Right. Um, you can get it uh, ID'd on the app itself will tell you what it is and uh, that way we can figure out what people are seeing what's in Coles County right and where and this is kind of a way to beautify the area as well it is yeah that's a big part of the initiative so um, we try to take green spaces that are in cities and make them butterfly habitat so when you say when you think about green space in cities usually it's turf grass right. and turf grass doesn't really do anything no. for the environment sure. and so we're trying to get people to think a little bit differently about how you could use that green space and so we plant pretty flowers that bring in pretty butterflies. It mm -hmm. saves cities money. Um, it lowers maintenance costs. And a big part of also what we do is education and science. So we have right. all those components to it. And what does an ideal butterfly habitat look like for you? I'm just curious. So the ideal butterfly habitat will have a lot of native plants in it. Right. Um, the native plants do a better job for providing the resources that the butterflies need. And so we plant flowers. That's what the adult butterflies need. Sure. But we also plant the uh, plants that are necessary for their caterpillars. So a lot of butterflies have very specific plants that their caterpillars eat. Monarchs eating milkweed is an example a lot of people are familiar with. So right. um, we plant those plants and that way you can have lots of butterflies. And interestingly enough, you know, Charleston is now the butterfly capital, you said, mm -hmm. right? How did you, how do you even get that award in the first place? Yeah, so it's, it's the reason Charleston is the butterfly capital is really the whole community has embraced kind of the idea of butterflies and it. so we've got the city involved the universities involved um, the school districts involved lots of lo local groups that are kind of rallying around this idea of butterflies um, again the education the habitat the science and it really fits in well with a lot of the kind of um, uh, outdoor recreation opportunities that are being developed in Charleston and so right. there's a whole bunch of trails hiking and biking trails now um, lots of beautiful um, places to go around the, the lake um, the uh, Grand Prairie Friends who are based oh, sure. here in in Champaign yeah. they have a thousand acres that they manage down there that they now have trails to go through and so it's really a wonderful place to, to visit butterflies. and the butterflies <laughs> fit really well into that theme yeah and something interesting Paul in April you created something and I'd like you to show us what it is. Yeah, so this is our butterfly guide. Right. And um, we have this available as an e-guide on our website, urbanbutterflies.org. Okay. And it's just the, a guide to the 25 most common butterflies that you'll, you'll see around here. And so people can download that for their phone or their computer. Right. And it's free. And um, what we try to do is make it a beginner's guide. So if people cool. don't know, not, not familiar with butterflies yet, then they can actually kind of download this. And most likely what you see in your garden is going to be in this book. Very cool. And you have a book here too I want to touch on real quick. Right. So this is put out by the Illinois Natural History Survey. So this is right. a much more complete guide. So if you really get into butterflies, got some then good this, pictures in there. this has got all of them. Yeah. And so beautiful. this this is really nice. And we have this as a prize okay. for the Butterfly Blitz. Oh. So whoever has, we have 
two prizes for right. the most observations submitted, of, so the most butterflies submitted to iNaturalist, right. and um, also for the most different species. So the winner of those two categories gets this guide or a uh, free bike tune-up from Bike and Hike in Charleston. And then anybody who submits an observation <laughs> can get our Life is Better with Butterflies bumper sticker. Couldn't get any it, better than that. That's I right. Think. I think it captures the, the love of butterflies. I think so. Thing. Well, thank you so much for winging it with me today. <laughs> Check out the Butterfly Blitz, you guys. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Alex. Definitely. Still to come, organizers of one group are working to improve the downtown area in Danville. We'll tell you all about their efforts coming up next.